Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're just going to do something quick and simple. Uh, while the engine's off, we're going to paint the rocket cover. Um, stay tuned. So it turns out. Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to paint the rocket cover um, red. Picked up this from Bunnings for about $2. Um, I have done the other rocket cover black, which I'll show you later. Um, and it came out really good. It was a pretty good paint. I think I paid about $15 for the can of paint. Uh, this one we only paid $2 and I really wanted to see how it's going to turn out, how good this paint is. I've never seen this paint um, sold before and it's not as bad as the, uh, the super cheap like $2 paint. That stuff I've used plenty of times and it's absolutely crap. So what we'll do is we're going to uh, clean the rock cover down with a bit of oven cleaner. Apparently that gets all the grease and all the crap off really well. Um, and we'll spray it down, wipe it down, all that sort of goodness and then we'll Hit it with this. See how it goes. So we just sprayed the rocket cover down with a bit of um, oven cleaner. We'll leave it for probably about five to ten minutes, probably more along the five mark. Um, wash it down, and we'll see how that comes out then. All right, so that's five minutes. Let's check it out. What are you, what are you laughing at, Serata? Um, do not spray all that. Easy off to run on exterior oven surfaces. Aluminium. Oh. <laughs> and floor surfaces. <laughs> Why is that funny? That's made out of aluminium. Oh. <laughs> That's why it's bubbling. Oh well. Oh yeah, so it's bubbling. So that is bubbling. Um, hopefully, I'm, I doubt that it's eating through the metal itself, but it's definitely getting all the, um, the crap off it. So what we'll do is we'll wash it down and we'll see how it turns out. Um, so far, I'm impressed just because just it looks cool. So. Let's wash it down. All right, so this one's all done. We've just cleaned all the crap off it. Now we're just going to let it sit out in the sun for maybe 10 minutes um, and just dry off a bit before we hit it with a bit of wax and grease remover um, and just make sure there's no contaminants or anything on there before we hit it with some uh, couple of coats of paint. Now that oven cleaner, never used it before, um, but I think it's done a pretty good job. So we'll see how it reacts to the paint. Hopefully there's nothing left on there when we paint it. Um, if you guys want to do this as well, just follow what I'm doing. It seems pretty easy. It makes a big difference to the engine. Alright, so that's mainly all dry now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, once, I'll just go over it with a bit of uh, wax and grease remover we got from uh, Super Cheap Auto. Fortunately, I'm almost all out, but that should be enough to do the rocket cover. Um, if you're wondering why I'm squinting, it's hot, really hot outside. Um, I think it's like 35 degrees Celsius, which is like 4 billion Fahrenheit if you live in the US. I don't know, I don't, I don't do Fahrenheit. Oh, that's too dark. Um, anyway, so. That's just down there. It's basically all dry. It's that hot and I'm sweating really bad. So I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible and we'll have another rocket cover. Uh, I've just gone through all my parts before and I found another rocket cover. So now I actually have three. So uh, there's the another one and then there's one that we've just cleaned and then there's another one in the garage somewhere which I've painted black, uh, which will be in a later episode. So um, don't forget to subscribe and check it out because you don't want to miss it. Painting another rocket cover. As you can see, it's a nice, deep, shining red. 
I wasn't sure if it was going to come out satin or not. There is a few um, bubbles and stuff just through here, but I'm not really too worried about it. Um, like I said, it's just a decorative piece. Once she is all dry, which is going to take about half an hour, we're going to go through and shave these lines off here um, and the embossed section of the BMW. Um, and then. Okay, so it's been about half an hour now. Um, now this is touch dry. So we've got to wait for it to cure maybe 24 hours and then we'll shave this section here. The paint's going to be a bit soft so we can't go and shave the paint just yet. Alright, so it's been a few hours now. Uh, we've just let it dry. So we, it's good to touch dry. Um, so we can start sanding and shaving that section now. So let's crack on with that. Okay, all quite nice. Um, shaved off here. Now, I'll do a really quick wipe. It's not perfect, but I don't really have to make it exactly piece. Got a little bit of um, nail polish. Okay, probably not too much. Whatever. That's it. But it's how you paint. Oh, let's get that in focus. That's not perfect. It's not great, but it'll do. Like I said, it's not going to go on a car. It's just going to be hanging out for decoration. So um, there you go. That's how you paint a rocket cover. Simple, easy to do. Makes a whole lot of difference in your engine bay. Um, I know it's a bit of a boring, um, boring video, but it's something to do while I'm still doing other videos for you guys. So. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. There we are, finished. Just gave the um, red a bit of a bit of a polish, and this is all being metal polished. So um, I think that's turned out pretty good. I don't know how close it is to the car color. Yeah, it's not very close, but I don't think it's, I'm going to be using it anyway. So there we go. That's one done. Um, leave a comment down below what color you want me to paint the next one. I won't do another video like this, but. Um, We'll see how we go. I think white, but um, leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.